in the previous video you have seen me open this window and here is the part 2 of this uh, uh, where i am installing str++ in a uh, laptop and uh, uh, we if we just uh, open this and uh, play there you can see all the uh, signals are coming out and here i have connected a uh, feed line a coaxial feed line to my random wire antenna and uh, it is uh, tuned and here you can uh, see the radio settings and here is the FM and uh, here uh, you can directly uh, tinker with the uh, settings uh, the frequency settings and all of this and uh, I like the 10 meter band so 10 meter band is lots of activities there as you can see it's a mess because it's a daytime there you can see someone is transmitting something and get the modulation type the am fm and everything you guys know the idea so let's move to the next uh, rtl sdr software uh, that i like very much so let's uh, install that so the next software that i am going to talk about is sdr console so this sdr console actually made uh, it, it's a very good software for not only receiving it also uh, can uh, transmit but you need a uh, uh, radio that can that have the ability to transmit so uh, you know hacker rf uh, have a uh, radio that can uh, receive and transmit also but uh, here we only have the rtl sdr but we can we can still receive uh, the signal so let's install the uh, sdr console as you can see we have come to the official page and you can see the strradio.com slash console and there you can see all the um, informations and uh, you go to the download section and uh, uh, the antivirus and there you can see the uh, download version and uh, you go down there and there you can see the windows uh, 32 and 64 bit uh, download and there you can see the release and you know uh, there you can see the uh, download button and uh, uh, which service you wanna uh, download in so 64 bit we have the uh, web host format and it will directly uh, added this to your PC and just uh, follow the uh, process here you can see the I have already downloaded the uh, file so it is showing me that I have already downloaded it so let's uh, see that in folder so I have opened this uh, software and uh, there you can see it, it was uh, in a zip format uh, and you have to unzip it and when you unzip it you can directly see the application and you just have to click the application and it will ask the permission to run and you have to give it yes and it will install uh, through its process you just have to follow the process and uh, wait for a while and there you can see the process has started and I agree uh, skip to the parts there you can see C++ required so it will automatically download you have to connect to the internet and it will automatically connect whatever it wants to run your computer and there you can see visual studio C++ it will automatically uh, download those start the program so let's start the program directly and there you can see uh, the RTL SDR uh, is already showing because I have connected to the system but if it doesn't show up 
then you have to go to the um, all the uh, the uh, if if this whole system doesn't uh, showing your module you have to add the module so after adding the module you can see the list of this module is being connected and then you click and there you can see the module and then you start the STS software and there you can see the information the waterfall display and everything and the interface is quite similar but uh, it has whole lot of things extra and there you can see you can directly play back record and everything in this software and you can do everything like you can trans transmit you can receive the layouts you can choose the viewing of the systems that you can also choose and uh, there you can see the gain of the system is automatic uh, automatic gain control is on bias is off and the bandwidth that we have chosen 2.4 megahertz and uh, there you can see uh, we can tinker the frequency like this so let's go the 10 meter band so you can see the 10 meter band so it has automatic gain control so you don't have to worry about Let's do this to auto and there you can see all kinds of signals, interference and everything. So uh, if you scroll that menu it will show you like this and you can see the, uh, the transmission. Here someone is transmitting something right now. So let's go to the uh, upper side band and see the transmission right there percent of the frequency a bit there it is someone is talking right now so uh, you can directly tinker if you scroll down the menu you can see the as you can hear the signal someone is talking and uh, then you can mess around and do uh, anything with it so I mostly do satellite tracking and uh, all kinds of ham radio stuff with it and you can directly record uh, the whole uh, whole waterfall display whole bandwidth uh, you just have to press the record select the folder and uh, select the bandwidth and directly start recording so you have to choose the browse menu and then you can record so here is so that is the setup video and this SDR console can run over the lower end of the computer also so I pretty much use this uh, I kind of uh, don't like SDR++ but it is for it, uh, it uh, runs on Android but so whatever you have to so that's it for this video and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video